Well, we are going uh, to do a story now out of my alma mater, yep. a very close-knit community, and it's not surprising that the folks there are really rallying together after a beloved home economics teacher uh, suddenly died. And, you know, so sweet. You know, the students, they were devastated, and finding a substitute in the middle of the year for the certain job that she had, yeah. really, really tough. But as I found out, when teachers asked for guest chefs, the response was overwhelming. It was shocking. Uh, I mean, I think everybody in our school felt their heart drop. When news spread that beloved home ec teacher Sandy Kemmerer died, it was devastating. She was basically like a, like a best friend to me because I always always go to her class and we we'll just always sit down and talk and she'll just tell me about her day, I'll tell her about my day. She taught subjects like cooking and early childhood development, but clearly was more than that. She was like a mother at our school. Um, she was willing to talk to them at any time. She was just always caring and, you know, and when you are breaking bread with people, cooking with people, you're building those relationships and so she was very, very special to us. The kitchen, now quiet. But Sandy wouldn't want it to stay that way. So history teacher Anthony Paletta went where a lot of us go these days, Facebook. We really just wanted to get our kids cooking and really try to do something in memory of Sandy. So I reached out on our uh, Facebook Clintonville page and asked if anybody was uh, a chef or an owner of a restaurant. And I thought maybe I'd get one hit, maybe two. Suddenly, he had close to 90 comments from local chefs and supporters. And you just roll the pepper, right? And then all that stuff comes right out. Katie Rendazzo from Ambrose and Eve became the first guest chef. Having the skill set to uh, know how to cook and make some basic things for yourself is really important. And I think that not having a lot of home ec classes in high schools now today um, is kind of sad. And so I want to be able to give these kids some skills, make a dinner for their parents, or maybe make breakfast for themselves in the morning, or if they have a date, maybe impress somebody. An empty kitchen now full of kids cooking and sandy spirit. Don't let this devastate you, just always just keep it in your heart. All thanks to a teacher's mission and the community's compassion. She got to know our students, not just on a classroom level, but personal level. She helped kids through a lot of things. Um, and if this is the least we could do for her, um, I hope that we can continue her legacy within our school district and within our you know, central Ohio community. And school administrators are hoping to have a scholarship in Sandy Kemmerer's name in the future. They, of course, are having guest chefs come in through, uh, you know, the end of the year. Not every single day, but sure. hoping to at least have once a month. They made a really interesting breakfast, so they're really being opened up yeah. to a whole new world. Love that. But in that room, you could probably see some of the memes in the background. Apparently, meme day was her favorite day, oh. where she put all these things on the walls. And it's funny. It's just reminding kids, you know, wash your hands before you right. cook. Yeah. Use this temperature of water for this for that, for that and it's just fun little things that the students really seem to be into. That is awesome and what a great way to carry on her legacy by carrying on with that class. Yeah you got to keep it going. The kids were just so happy to be there and firing up the kitchen. That's fantastic.